It's Friday Sports, everybody. I'm Ricardo Lightborn, and tonight this one's for Bakisha Parker Edgecombe and also Michael Smith, both celebrating birthdays today. RM Lewis celebrated yesterday, and we're still waiting for the cake to reach, Noop. I know what you're waiting on. Well, let me tell you, Stephen Gardner's on top of the world, folks. Uh, Stephen competed today in uh, Doha, the Grand Prix in the 400 meters, and he also had a great one. Let's go to the race, and you determine how well this kid ran today. On the Gold Coast, over 400 on the long relay. There is Steve Gardner. Well, despite that noise, they get underway without any problem. And it's fairly even at the moment, although certainly Aquala looks to have gone off the quickest third from left there in lane six. He's one of the smaller in the field, but a lovely, smooth, fluid stride. The tall legs of Gardner in the orange there, just to the left of centre, carrying him along well. And inside him, Haroon of Qatar, the bronze medalist from London last year, has gone off very aggressively in the white armbands. But Aquala now beginning to get into his stride, holding the form well around that top bend, although certainly leading at the moment is Haroon in the orange strip in lane five it's Gardner now who's going strongly Gardner challenging Makwala who may be beaten here and he will be because Gardner is going well clear he's pulling way way clear as the 22 rod big big win that for the Bahamian and look at the time 43.87 well, seconds and it's a new national record he broke his own record of 43.89 just last year it's also the fastest time in the world this year and a meet record Stephen also has another record that is the 200 meters he holds is 19.75 seconds Donald Thomas also competed today third in the high jump 2.30 meters was his distance and also Jamal Wilson was ninth in 2.20 not bad guys doing well. The ladies of Dallas Sigma Theta coordinated a softball challenge on the weekend and yes, Shashina Roll did not play for good reason. The ladies of Dallas Sigma Theta pulling out all the stops for a softball challenge and the awards later on the table just for the taking. The fans of the Grand Bama Sports Complex ready for the showdown and a show like no other. Oh yeah, the medics are also standing by. Pats uniform Reds and the Greeks cross the line and the Reds with the seasoned players like Spencer hits a rocket to center field. This will be an in-the-park home run. The Greeks showing some pop at the bats. Jamal Green showing that the Alphas can play this game. That's a base hit there. LeVar McPhee representing the Qs and that's a base hit as well. He's going station to station. Now I need him to whistle, bro. Delta Sigma Theta with the big time representation here. And this one's fouled off. You're out, sis. Okay, DST. This time it goes to the second baseman for the flip by the Reds. Hey, the Greeks are out. The Greeks are simply having a great time in terms of their splendor after getting together, even though they lost the Pats uniform Reds. All right, we got to go to Gayla McPhee. She says that Sigma was in the house and also trash talking as well. We want to thank all of the persons that would have partnered with us in taking part, of this, in, taking part in this tournament, especially BTC as the corporate sponsor. We have the Pats Reds. Uniform, who would have participated, Customs Department, the Immigration Department, and the GB Greeks came out strong. We had the Deltas, of course, we had the Qs, we had the Alphas, we had the Kappas, and SG Rose, and we want to thank all of them for their support. They've done well. The game of softball will never be the same, folks, and this is going to be an annual event by the Deltas. This is going to be an annual event because, you know, not only does it bring the corporate sponsorship out and participants, we also get everybody moving. We have a lot of people that said they haven't played in years, and we're happy to see that they're here. So I just want to shout out, especially the older Greeks, or the more seasoned Greeks. I don't want to say old, because they're more mature. But um, everyone is out, and everyone is playing in full force, no injuries, and the sun is out, and we're just excited that we're here today. Yeah, everyone wants to be a grill master. Yeah, everyone, even the Omegas, that's what they think. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Hot dogs are burning over there, bro. You sure those hamburgers are done? A wonderful effort by the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta and the Greek family on Grand Bahama. No injuries, just a few aches on Monday. And I'm proud to say that none of the Greeks called in sick. Well, let me tell you that Jessup uh, Patterson, Sire Johnson, was an incredible athlete, folks. Uh, his playing days with Eight Mara Crushers was memorable. His death sent shockwaves through the Eight Mara community, Grand Bahama, as well as the Bahamas. As we uh, say farewell to the talented football player, husband, father, and also friend, Shaki Martin said, Sire was a talented player and he could have played football at the NFL level. I would play pro ball, professional ball, and also an all pro with the Washington Redskins in the National Football League. I done an assessment on the whole team and he assessed those who he figured that could have played junior ball, junior college, those who could have played senior ball, which is 
at the university level and he said there was one name that he mentioned that he figured could have played pro ball in the National Football League and that was Jessup Sire Johnson. You see Jessup Funeral Services said for tomorrow folks 1 o'clock it will be at Calvary Temple. Yes, Master will be missed by all of us here at ZNS. We do extend condolences to the family as they go through this difficult time. And those folks who knew Jessup knows that he was one of the guys. All you do is ask him once, and he always said, yeah, Master, in a good way. That's a look at sports tonight.